All right, so you've got your GeoGebra whiteboard, and in fact, there it is. Uh, but what you want is you want this table inside the GeoGebra whiteboard so that students can do the writing on the GeoGebra on this table in addition to using the rest of the canvas to do their work. All right, and how do you do that? It is super easy to do. I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with, um, here's our blank whiteboard, but we want this table, this clip art uh, uh, screenshot of the table inside the canvas. Okay, how do we get there? So the first thing we're gonna do so we're gonna to go to our three dots and we're gonna copy this activity. So that blank whiteboard is now, I'm gonna call it inserting a table into a whiteboard. Demo, all right. And uh, so right here, you'll notice my whiteboard does not have an image button, all right? So what I need to do is I need to first give this, um, canvas right here, the image button, the insert an image button. So I'm going to click the pencil to edit. And uh, then I'm going to go down here and I'm going to edit this applet. I'm going to click the three bars and I'm going to customize the tools right there. And I'm going to customize the toolbar. And what I'm going to do is here's my list of all the available tools that I could add to the existing toolbar. And I'm going to look for the image one. There it is. And I'm going to drag that image to wherever I want it to go in my toolbar. And I'm going to click. And of course, I can always drag these around and change it. And by the way, while I'm at it, my new favorite tool is also the freeform pencil tool. So I'm going to look for that. There it is, the freehand shape. So I'm going to grab that and I'm going to add it to my customized toolbar. I'm going to click apply and there we go. All right. And so now uh, just, well, I'll, I'll tell you what that freehand shape, it's really kind of cool. So anyway, I'm going to click on this image and I'm going to click choose file. And there is my table. I'm just going to navigate to the, my screenshot and I'm going to click OK. And there it is. So I'm going to click on one of these points and I'm just going to kind of use my arrow key because these two points identify the size and the rotation of the table. All right. So I just click on those points and I can either move it with my mouse or I can highlight one of those points and then use my arrow key to move that point, which then consequently moves the table. All right, so there's my table. It's exactly where I want it to be. Now, if I want, I can delete. Whoa, <laughs> yikes, undo, there you go. So if I want, I can um, right click, sorry, on point B and I can hide it. And then I can right click on this point and I can hide it. So now it's still movable, but I can no longer scale it. It is fixed in its size. So I'm going to click done. And there is my canvas with the, the table that is now available for students to write on, writing, uh, to write on. And I'm going to click done. In fact, you know what I'm going to do is I'm also going to make it a little bit wider, make it a thousand pixels wide. There you go. Looking pretty good. Now I'm going to click done. All right. Now you'll notice this canvas looks exactly the way I want it, but these other two canvases are wrong. So I'm going to delete both problem three and problem two, and I'm going to duplicate the canvas for problem one, which puts it way down at the bottom. I'm going to drag it up to problem two. Oopsies. There's problem two, let's get problem two above there. So there's my problem one with the canvas. There's problem two with the new canvas. And then here's problem three, it doesn't have a canvas yet. So let's duplicate. 
and there it is. So now I have my three problems with the canvas available. I'm gonna click save and close. And I'm gonna to go to my account. So I'm gonna click on profile. And wha-bam, there it is, inserting a table into a whiteboard demo. And there is the activity, a space for three problems if I choose to type in the problems. Otherwise, I could just verbally tell the kids what to do for each of the canvases. I now have the ability to zoom in and they can write. I can color code. And then color code again. And I'm using my mouse. If I was using my iPad, it's way smoother and way easier. And there it is. There is my, there we go. There is my canvas. I'm able to write into it. It kind of gives me a sense of uh, what it looks like, you know, how, how it, you know, kids would write on it. Uh, I can use my freehand shape. The reason I like my freehand shape is if I want a straight line, I just draw a straight line and it fixes it for me. I could draw another straight line and it fixes it for me. And now I can, now put my little tick marks for the x-axis. I could put my tick marks for the y-axis, and then I can start graphing if I wish, and I can graph it by hand. Um, and of course, it would be some sort of straight line. <laughs> That's not a straight line. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> oh, go away. Go away. <laughs> I need to. <laughs> That's funny. Make that go away go away it's not going away I don't know how to make it go away why isn't it going away all right I'll ignore that because we don't care at this point it's just a straight line and there we go there's my graph with my ratios or proportion or whatever and that is how you are able to add an image to your GeoGebra whiteboard so that students can kind of like fill in the blanks as needed Thank you.